Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and um, this is going to be a uh, predictions video, so if, if y'all didn't know, last night um, the 2021 schedule release happened, and um, my favorite team is the Cowboys, if you didn't know, Dallas Cowboys NFL team, so... I'm just going to do a prediction of what their record is going to be. And this year, there's 18 games. So, uh, week one, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Super Bowl champions last year. I think we're going to lose this one, um, unfortunately. But uh, is it really a surprise? No. Uh, but I think it's going to be a pretty good matchup. It's a, it's a Thursday primetime game, so a primetime game for us to open up the season. And then uh, week two, we'll have um, the Carolina Panthers. Um, I think we're going to win that one. That one should be, I don't think it should be a cakewalk win, but I think, it, I think we're going to win it either way. So, um, yeah, so then after that, we'll be one and one, and then... Week three, we already have our bye week, so we'll be a uh, one and one heading into week four, and then week four is the Falcons. Uh, they're probably gonna end up getting a twenty point lead and then choke, so I think we're gonna win that one. So we're gonna be two and one after week four. Um, yeah, yeah. So week five, we're going to be. Facing the Saints, um, it depends because they don't have Drew Brees anymore, and that's got that's a big weapon for the offense. Um, but they have Jameis Winston, who's a pretty good quarterback um, as long as he doesn't throw as much interceptions as he did a few years ago. Uh, but I think either way, they have a pretty good defense. I I would have to imagine. Uh, I think they do. Um, you see they destroyed last year's Super Bowl champions two times. Um, they won by like 20 points in week one, and week nine they faced off again, and the final score was 38-3 to with the Saints winning. So uh, That was when they had Drew Brees, like I said. I don't know. It, it depends because they don't have their quarterback anymore, but we do, so that's cool. But I think we're going to lose that one, so we'll be 2-2, two and two, and then um, – Week, week six is the Washington football team. Uh, I think we could win that one. Um, they don't have Alex Smith anymore. He announced his retirement. I don't think he was the best quarterback anyway. He was a good one, but he wasn't the best out there. Um, we really could have won both of the games against them last year but we just had such a bad defense that we couldn't do anything. Um, yeah, they made the playoff. Even though they made the playoffs, that might make you think they were a good team, but they really weren't. It's just the division that they're in was a pretty bad division. It was the NFC East. They made the playoffs on a losing record. So they were 7-9. and nine. The Cowboys were behind them 6-10. and 10. The Giants were also six and ten, and then the Eagles were four eleven and one, or so. Yeah, four eleven and one. So they were able to make a playoff, the playoffs off a losing record. So they still got a losing record. So I think we're gonna win that one. That should be a pretty easy win, I would think. And then the Chargers, I think we could probably. I think we could win that one, but honestly, it kind of depends. They have Justin Herbert, Herbert who was a very, very good quarterback. Um, yeah, they they were a, he was a he was a very good quarterback, um, definitely. And um, yeah, so I think it just kind of depends, you know. Um, not one person is going to make a team do really good. So I think we're probably going to lose that one. And then, so we'll be three and three after that. And then um, after that, we have the Giants, which um, 
even when we weren't doing so well, we won against them. We won against them last year and almost won against them again uh, in the Week 17 game, uh, even when we had a trash defense, which is a pretty improved defense now. So uh, that would probably be a win for us. Yeah, so that would be a win. Um I think so. We'll be four and three, and then the Vikings after that. Um, I think that's another win for us. That'll be so. We'll have a pretty good uh, stretch there. That will make us five and three with the win against the Vikings, and then uh, next up we have the Chiefs. So that one, another uh, loss. Um, is that. And, again, is that really a surprise? No. They have Mahomes, but you never know. Um, they could lose some of their star players that they had on the team. Defense, you know, it's not it's not just all about the offense. There's defense here. So they have a pretty good defense. Um, oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so uh, as you saw in the Super Bowl, they didn't have a good offensive line, but that's what they focused on in the draft. So they got some people, and uh, yeah. So I think we're still going to lose. Um, so that'll put us 5-4. and four. Um, So right now we got a pretty decent record, good enough to make the playoffs at that point, I would have to imagine, especially in the division that, they're, that we're in. Um that would be good because it doesn't really depend on your record. You you just have to be at the top of your division to make the playoffs, you know. Like like I was talking about uh Washington. They were seven and nine. They had a losing record but still made the playoffs because they were at the top of their division. So um and then speaking of the Washington football team, that's who we have next. And that one that's a pretty hard one. I think that's another win though. I think that's a win for us again, so that'll put us 6-4, and four. and then the Cardinals up next. Uh, boy, that's another one that I'm not sure about. They have really good offensive weapons like DeAndre Hopkins, and they beat the Bills last year. I know it was off of Hail Mary. They didn't cakewalk it, but they still beat the Bills last year, one of the best teams in the NFL last year, so they have a pretty strong team altogether. I think we may lose that one, honestly. Uh, don't judge me on this. I, I really don't know. I just started really getting into the NFL late mid last year. So um, I still don't know very much about the teams. But, yeah. Um, next up, we have the Eagles, which I think that'll be a cakewalk for us, honestly. They they just need everything on their team, you know. They they don't have Carson Wentz anymore. I mean, they have Jalen Hurts, who's good, but, I mean, they need more than just a quarterback. Carson Wentz is gone. He, was, he wasn't that great of a quarter, quarterback. Three years ago, I wouldn't be saying that, but, you know, I just don't know what happened there. But, um... I think that'll be a pretty easy one for us. And then next up, we have the Patriots. Um, yeah, that'll be a... Ooh, it, it just kind of depends on who their quarterback is at that point. Uh, during the offseason, Cam Newton extended his contract, so he'll be back there. But they have Mac Jones, too. If they have Mac Jones... I think we could, I think we would still have a chance of winning, but would probably lose there, that one, so, um, yeah. Okay, so our record is 7 and 5, 7 and 6, okay. 7 and 6 this far, yeah, 7 and 6, and then next up, this one's going to be hard, it's the Broncos. So, at this point, um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Aaron Rodgers isn't interested in playing with the Packers anymore. So, and one of the teams that people are, everyone are predicting that he's going to is the Broncos, which we don't know that yet. But uh, I'd say right now, without Rodgers, we would definitely win. Uh, but if they have Rodgers, that would definitely be a loss, which would make us at a tie record 7-7. Seven and seven. 
um, which is not good, but <laughs> um, I think we could still make something out of it, especially with that extra week. Um, that'll help. So, and so um, yeah, right now, though, I will change. Um, I could change that prediction throughout the off season, but honestly, I think that'll be a win, especially right now. Um, they need a better quarterback. That's the first thing, and Aaron Rodgers would be a miracle for them. That would be amazing for them. So yeah, uh, at that point, I think we'd be eight and six for right now. And then uh, next up is the Raiders. That one, uh, I think we could. Yeah, I think we could win that one. That one would be a good... Yeah. We could win that one. I think that one wouldn't be an easy one, but, it de but it'd be a win, I would think. So that would put us 9-6, and six, which is a good record. A pretty good record, anyway. Uh, and then the Giants, that's another win, I would think. Yeah, that would be another win. Um, definitely... The Giants, again, I don't think Daniel Jones are working for them in the long run, so. Um, and just not ju not just the quarterback, other things too, defense, you know, they need better stuff like that, so. Um, and then next up is the Eagles, that's week 18, and that'll be another win. I think that'll be another pretty easy cakewalk for us. Um, yeah, so. That's it. So our final record would be eleven and six if our if my prediction is right all the way through. So yeah, that that would definitely be a good enough record to make the playoffs. I know that, um, definitely, especially the division that we're in. So um, I'm just excited to have Dak back and see what he does. Uh, uh, he may be rusty the first couple of weeks, but you know. Whatever, that's all right. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for this season. And uh, let me know down in the comments what your predictions would be. And I thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.